Welcome to Rated RPG, folks, where tonight we'll be playing an RPG that has never been played before. We are playtesting it. And it was written by someone in this room. Written? Invented. We, we don't know the game. <laughs> <laughs> So you invented this, what, what do we do? What is this? I don't understand. Well, this RPG can take place in any setting that you want. Uh, Brian earlier, before the cameras were rolling, expressed an interest in a Cthulhu type world, because he's freaky that way. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. It's the 20s, there's supernatural things running around, and uh, that's the world that you're going to occupy. So you're going to build characters based on that world. What did I do with my dice? The ones in front of you? <laughs> <laughs> Behind your box. <laughs> so, before we start making our characters, I feel like I should tell you about uh, the mechanics of doing things in this world. Oh god, I'm gonna need something to drink while you do that. How about some Ninja Porter from the Asheville Brewing Company? Ooh. Anyway, Catherine sent us this here. Great! It is dark and black. And foam? Oh, it got me right in the eye. Okay, I'm a reporter. My skill set is persuasion. I have a little dog named Sniff. Okay. And my grandma's diary. Okay. I have a camera. I have a good memory. I'm good at hiding, and I have a bottle of rose. <laughs> okay. That's great. Those are, those are all approved. <laughs> all right. What do you got? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a private eye. My skill is detective work. Uh, I'm a lock pick. I'm good at lock picking. Uh, I have a gun with bullets. <laughs> <laughs> a skill set of markman, marksmanship. Uh, I have a flashlight, uh, I have strength, my character has strength, and I am very good at somersaults. My name is Mads Mikkelsan. I'm a professor. <laughs> I've already got your hackles raised, I can tell. Skill set, knowledge of oddity, which covers a wide range of things like cults. Assets are steam-powered hover shoes. Oh man. So that's approved then, okay. A uh, book of the occult, a Ouija board, all easily obtainable in the 1920s. A uh, um, pair of experimental goggles that see in other spectrums. A sword, <laughs> and some salt. My name oh. is Melody Boswick. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Kevin Bronson. Okay. So I'm gonna give you guys two additional assets. Okay. You can write these down. One of them is called a wild card. One of them is called a Hail Mary. Now, a wild card is something that you can use once per game. And that is when you're in a situation where you need an asset that you don't have. What's Hail Mary? You can use a Hail Mary to automatically succeed in any attempt, Ooh. even after you've already failed. So here's what's going on in town. Ronald Pickman was a crazy architect from like the middle of the 18th <clears throat> century. He built this crazy mansion and he, the, there was all kinds of rumors around town about him that he was involved with these strange cults out in the woods. And he was just a, generally a spooky dude, and he had a big family that lived with him. As the years passed, his family gradually died off. And he was the last one to die, and that just happened last year. This is uh, 1919. I've probably no. met you before if I'm a detective, but I don't know. And a yeah. reporter, so you guys have some, we like have a, a professional, professional relationship. I mean, Perhaps I you used to be my student mm. when you were in school. Okay, so it's like a Buffy situation where yes. you're Giles and... Okay. I'm Wesley, but in the Angel universe, because I have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> Kevin? Hey, it's good to see you again. Thanks. I've uh, been hired to investigate this house. What are you doing here? Same. Uh, I hear there's something going on in the house. It's great to see both of you again. It's been quite a while, hasn't it, since you were in my classes? That's uh, Professor... Uh, Professor Mickelsan. Prof Professor Mickelsan. Oh, yeah, Mickelsan. How are you doing? You guys hear a loud hissing noise as if steam was escaping from something? <laughs> what are those on your feet? Those are my shoes. <laughs> 
Did you bring him? How is he? Why are you here? I was invited by the police. Oh. Oh. So you go up to the porch. You're greeted by the policeman. His name is Officer um, Ramson. Officer Ramson, it's so good to see you again. It's been years. Thank you, sir. I'm now uh, Sergeant. Thank you for inviting me to this house. Yes, well, it was the family that uh, hired you all, so I'm just here to... Uh, <laughs> Oh, sorry. Let me turn these off. So, do we know what our goal is? Just to figure out if the house is actually haunted, what it's haunted by, if there's some, if there's someone <clears throat> who's got some shady purpose going on, if it's like a Scooby-Doo situation, where it's a person making all this stuff. Are there any strange, crotchety-looking gardeners around? Uh, you don't see any. Okay. Although there, there are elaborate uh, topiary shrubs that are in the form of creatures you've never seen before. Like The Shining? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to use my wild card to add... <laughs> A book from the future. <laughs> All right, you go... Uh, policeman's left. He's gotten in his horse and wagon and he's gone away. You go to open the door. Seems that the door is locked. But when you try it again, it opens fine. Was that, did you pick pick that lock? No, could have been just stuck. It's like the house wants us to be here. I've seen this kind of stuff before. It's gonna be some guy living in the basement making sounds. Where have you seen this kind of thing? All over town, this is what it, people say it's haunted. It's a guy living in the attic, it's, it's squatters. There are two doors to the left, there are two doors to the right, and there's a grand staircase that goes up to the second level. You guys, uh, you guys wanna go downstairs? downstairs? I'll go upstairs. You guys wanna go together? I kind of want to go together. It's safer that way. If we get separated, then people get confused. We might stab each other. Yeah, I've heard this place switches around. We'll get lost. All right. We'll There's so together. many bad reasons. Why did you even suggest it? Was that, that your, your shoe? shoes? I don't think so. Maybe. You thought your shoes were turned off, but now they're back on. My shoes turned on by themselves. That's not normal. It's not normal to have those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> So none of these go to the basement, guys? Uh, I guess not. I mean, we, maybe maybe the stairs are down one of the corridors. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just go down. We'll stick together. You guys want to stick together? That's fine. I'll babysit you if something happens, okay? Oh, guys, shoot, where's, where's my dog? <laughs> <laughs> the dog has followed your voice saying, where's my dog, and runs in from the foyer. This is Sniff. I forgot. He was here. I forgot to introduce you. He's uh... I hold the whiskey out to Sniff. Sniff doesn't like it. All right, I, well, I won't drink it. Your dog doesn't like it. Okay. Looks good though. Dogs usually love booze. He's more of they a rosé man. <laughs> Laura Sweeney says, thanks so much for the special surprise show. May I have another surprise, pretty please? Uh, yes, of course. And uh, Stacy here is a stand-up comedian. Do you not like it when people call you a comedian? I don't care. All right, good. <laughs> uh, and she told us today that she has a new joke, so we're gonna t she's gonna tell that right now. All okay. right. Um, it's like I'm a naturally curious person because when I w was uh, a kid, I saw an elephant eat shit out of another elephant's butt, <laughs> and ever since then, I've had a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> like, who is this for? <laughs> Which one of them wants this? <laughs> they say elephants never forget, but they don't want you to forget either. <laughs> You'll always remember this, little girl. That's all. You want something? Mm. <laughs> That's it for now. There you go. A little remembrance from childhood. You hear a scream from above. That was not in my shoes. It sounded like a woman's scream. But maybe it wasn't. All right, we'll go up the stairs. Go up there. The lights are turned off, so it's hard to see. I have a flashlight. Okay. You see a light switch on the wall? I turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I brought this, guys. <laughs> Hear the scream again. Can we tell where it's coming from? You have to make an attempt to do that. I will. Ooh, that was a bad luck roll. Oh, well. I got a, a one. So got you got a minus 35. You have a minus 45. No, you have a minus 49. And you have a plus 15. Nope. I don't think I well, did. She does, though. So you can tell that the scream is coming from the door that is furthest down the hallway to the left. Okay, the door swings open. Creaks open. You look inside. It's a fancy lady's bedroom. The 
window is open. And the curtains are flapping in the breeze. Broken glass, red stain on the carpet. There's no one in the room? There's no one in the room. There don't appear to be any doors out of the room. I there. whip out my Ouija board. Okay. Before you do the Ouija board, can I just look around to see if there's anything weird that we might focus on? For okay, we can do the Ouija board. <laughs> Did a woman escape out the window? Okay, are you asking the Wheezy board? Wheezy, yeah. Wheezy board. I'm asking the Wheezy board. <laughs> Moving on up. <laughs> what, what is your question? Set it on the bed and I say, Spirit, can you hear me? Do yes. we all have to? Spirit. He's moving it. <laughs> is there danger? Yes. Are you here? She's talking to you. Obviously she's here, or he's here. This is a fancy lady's room. Obviously it's a lady. Could have been a lover. Shh, I'm listening to the spirit. You're listening to the words on the Ouija? Yes, this works. I've proven okay. it. Board, the thing starts swirling around like that, and then it stops and it won't talk to you anymore. Look what you've done. You've <sighs> you've spoiled my communications yeah. with the dead woman. Kevin, was your was subconscious mind, if anything. With your blabbity blabbity, private eye. And now, now you all notice that there is actually a door in this room. It's a very weird, thin door that's hard to see. Is that always there? It's like those doors in the White House that are just look like they're yeah, part yeah. of the wall. Okay. Can I look I around the room just to see if there's anything weird other than the... Sure. You notice um, a drawer. There's a drawer with a diary in it. Under the pillow you see a little tiny lady's gun. A oh lady's God. gun? Hmm. We are, there is a lady here. That's fine. It's because the evidence, though. It looks like there could have been a murder here. There's blood on the ground. I suggest we don't touch the gun. Can we read the diary? Take photos of it. Let's read the diary. Yeah, Sniff is really, like, scrambling at the door. Let's go. He senses something. You open up the door, and it's like a lady's bathroom. And there's the unmistakable sound of someone behind that curtain. The curtain goes to what? The bathtub. It has a curtain. The bathtub. Some, someone, see, someone seems to be hiding in the bathtub. Who's there? I got my hand on my gun. Who's there? Hello? Hello? Can I see anything through the curtain with my glasses? No, you can't see through objects with your spectrum oh. glasses. And an x-ray? Guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna peek behind the curtain. We can't die very easily. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> do, do it, Melody. Yeah, just pull back that fourth wall. I've got a sword. I'm the curtain? That's okay. <laughs> the curtain? Immediately whips aside and someone flies at you and tries to like bowl you over. So, do you have any skills that would help? I'm good at hiding. Avoiding that. <laughs> That's why you need a somersault. I have a good memory. I can remember a trick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are you are surprised. Am I dead? Okay, no, you are just actually knocked unconscious. Forever? Yep. Not dead. forever. <laughs> now you play. And you, you see <laughs> someone just. Run past you as fast as they can. Go after him with your fucking shoes. I will. <laughs> okay, you're, you're trying to go and grab this thing. Yeah. This person. If okay. it's corporeal. It is corporeal. Yes. You saw a flash, and it looks like it's probably human. Excellent. So you run after and try to grab them and subdue them. Your steam-powered shoes give you an advantage. So um, I think I'm going to give you a plus fifteen. Luck roll, oh, minus... You guys are rolling terribly <laughs> for luck. 34... You dive after this person and you fall flat on your face. Mm. Uh, you see it's a kind of a young-looking, um, maybe a, a teenager? I'm trying to revive her. Oh. Um, okay, it takes a while. She's really woozy. Yeah. And she's going to have to hang out here for a while to get back to full capacity. Can I just pick her up and carry her? No. I give consent. <laughs> the twenties doesn't matter. I have some smelling, <laughs> I have smelling salts. Is well, that what those are? <laughs> she needs like bed rest. Yeah, probably for like fifteen minutes. Okay, we better just, leave her here. Just we need. Leave to... me. I'll be okay. She's got the dog. We locked the door. She's fine. She's got sniff. I checked the bathroom and to I see if the there's anyone else in there. Gun. They went down the grand staircase, nice. so it's possible they ran out the front door. All right, I go to the front door and open it. Downstairs. Is that a thing? I just go downstairs. Uh, yeah, it's a thing. And I just look around to see if I see. It's nighttime. The wind has picked up a little bit. That's my flashlight. <laughs> uh, you see a footprint. All right, they ran out. It's not... Probably just a rogue teen. A rogue teen? A rogue teen. What's that? Like a teen hiding out. An angry, <laughs> an angry teen that comes into a house on a dare. So that's probably what this whole thing was. There's... Okay, Melody. Yeah. In your uh, in your room, the lights suddenly go out. Hello. Hello. You definitely feel that there's a presence in the room with you. I grab the gun. Okay. 
I just hold it. <laughs> you hear a voice coming out of the darkness. What? Ronald. Ronald, what are you doing in my room? I'm yelling at you for your poop and you bite your boots. My, my, name, I told you to stay my, my name's Melody. The bed starts going like boom, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. Look, I don't know who Ronald is, but my name's Melody Boswick. I work for the Gazette. Am I afraid? Well, you are, you are incapacitated, so that makes you less vulnerable. able to stand up. That makes you more vulnerable, exactly. Um. But you are a reporter, and so you have a rational mind. So I will give you a minus five. Okay. You can get a Hail Mary right now, girl. 98! Is that two Hail Marys? Uh, you do get a Hail Mary. Yeah, you gain one, because you get over 100. Cool. Two Hail Marys. You got two of them. Good rolling. Thank you. And you are not afraid of this ghost at all. And in fact, you are so charged Just by like your- Just like Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy. Right. In the movie Ghostbusters. <laughs> you're so charged up <laughs> by your adrenaline that you're not incapacitated anymore. You're, you're at full strength. You're able to improvise the funniest lines. <laughs> <laughs> for Just the like whole Kristen movie. Wiig. <laughs> for the whole movie. There's Leslie Jones. No script. Okay, so yes. what do you do? The bed is shaking. Where's the voice coming from? You can't tell, it's just it's dark. I, I want to go back in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> She's really not afraid, man. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a dump! <laughs> <laughs> I will not be... I want to talk to Ronald! You find the bathroom door and open it. I already knew where it was. <laughs> okay. Do you close it behind you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? She's so fucking, I'm gonna piss standing up <laughs> while this ghost is right here. <laughs> that stain on the floor, when you came in here it was fresh, like mm -hmm. it was wet. Now it looks like an old stain. Like I it. take a picture. Let us in, are you all right? I let them in. All right. Guys, the, the blood's different. Yeah, that dried too quickly. It looks old now. I heard an old man. I heard an old woman asking for an old man. Old man or old woman? Both. <sighs> My shoes. Yeah, the bed started shaking and Reginald was being looked for by an old woman. It's not Reginald, it's Ronald. <gasps> we we deter determined that the teen was a runaway teen. It's a rogue teen. May have been abandoned. Determined? We determined that we saw a footprint in the mud. Are you alright? Did it have a teen shoe? How do you know it was a teen? It was a, it was a size teen. You could hear it said, you just don't understand me. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. I'm trying to comfort this woman, alright? It was just a teen. It was a rogue teen. <laughs> Good teen voice. What did the voice say to you? It said, Reginald, Ronald. Get out of my bedroom! Right, it didn't so, say anything to me, it was talking to Ronald. So this ghost had two lovers <laughs> in this bathroom. A Reginald <laughs> and a Ronald. <laughs> and a teenager. Great, we've made a lot of progress. So Grayson Metzbauer says, thank God Rated RPG is back. Yep, there's one more episode of this, and then we are thinking about just doing Rated RPG as a live-only kind of thing, so we can keep doing it, but not worry about editing it, which is the reason it takes so long for these to come out. So look for that in the upcoming months. Thanks for watching.